हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर न्यू सेशन सो बाय सीइंग दिस पिक्चर व्हाट डिड यू थिंक व्हाट इज आवर टू डेज टॉपिक वॉट आर दीज स्टूडेंट्स आर यू एबल टू गेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स येस दीज आर कंप्यूटर्स एक्चुअली फॉर वॉट पर्पज वी आर यूजिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ कंप्यूटर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज एक्चुअली यूज इन साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन ओके सो एक्चुअली इन टूडेज टॉप क्लास वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर दैट इज एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल ये यू कैन सी दिस इज एन एनालॉग कंप्यूटर एंड दिस इज ए डिजिटल कंप्यूटर सो लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज एन एनालॉग कंप्यूटर एंड वॉट इज ए डिजिटल कंप्यूटर and here you can see i have briefly described it what is analog computer they work on continuous variables like waves of the signals their amplitude okay so analog uh, computers are actually uh, work like a continuous variable they will not stop their work it is actually set for a continuous uh, work students and it is actually working on the basis of their amplitude and analog computer is a type of computer that actually uses analog signals and here you can see they are using analog signals to process and store data and the analog computer are used to specific purpose uh, purpose such as speedometer and here you can see in the uh, cars also uh, and the brisk watch okay so these are the main uh, examples of analog computer which is used in the main sector of uh, cars uh, speedometer and it is also used in our brisk watch okay and what are the features of uh, analog computer so let's discuss the point one by one perform particular task so i have mentioned that uh, that it is actually used for particular task so this uh, in this uh, example you can uh, conclude that the speedometer is only used for uh, the um, to count the speed and the watch is actually only used for uh, for uh, seeing the time it is actually showing time only so it is actually performing one task only and no multi task or supporter here you can see there is no other activities in this uh, normal wrist watch and speedometer is not allowing other task so here we can say, say that this is not allowing multi task facility and it works continuously and data gives continuous output uh whenever uh, we have run it with battery we know that it will it does not actually uh, stop it will run automatically or we can say it will work continuously it will give continuous output so the output cannot be like um, stop and they will continuous data to us okay and it is work on real time it is work on live time we can say that like that it will not use for uh, um, other task students it is only used as a real time task okay then output are in the form of signals and graphs okay here you can see it is actually uh, giving some signals and it also using some graphics to show the output so i think this point is clear with you students so this is all about analog computer and let's see what is digital computer actually digital computer they work on principle of binary digits that is zeros and ones any value or symbol is represented through a binary value okay so uh, analog uh, when we discussed about analog computer they are actually working with the help of signals but here you can see the digital computer is actually work with help of binary digits that is zeros and 
ones okay and any value or symbol is represented to through a uh, uh, binary value so we can say that every uh, program is actually they have transferred to binary language that is zeros and ones uh, here you i will write uh, the example of one binary code students uh, 010100 it is a go like this only and every uh, uh, like data are stored in this manner uh, it is actually following zeros and one digit so are you clear with this point and it is actually works on discrete or discontinuous data in the previous uh, slide uh, we know got to know that analog computer it is only uh, only work on the continuous basis but this digital computer is also work for discontinuous data okay uh, if we want to stop the uh, retrieval of data or uh, we want to stop the work we can stop in digital computer and it is based on zeros and ones as we discussed it it is actually following the binary digit code and uh, the binary digit system and faster than analog okay then uh, when comparing to um, analog we can say that is actually a uh, it is only giving a machine language so we can say it is actually a, uh, a very uh, slower uh, than this digital computer uh, and digital computer is very faster and high capacity storage okay this is the main feature of digital computer here we can see that uh, it is actually uh, mm, uh, using uh, the microprocessors so which contains uh, a space to store the data okay so it is uh, providing space for store the data but whereas when we are uh, talking about analog computer we can say that uh, there is no uh, way to save the data or there is no facility to store the data it is actually uh, working only real time that is the main uh, drawback of analog computer whereas uh, we can say digital uh, digital computers has some uh, facility to store the data so here uh, the main uh, important thing is that uh, we can work with discrete basis discontinuous basis okay we can um, work on non real time also and <clears throat> then the next thing is uh, what kind of computer is this student is this digital or analog actually this is used in uh, icu i think uh, you all have uh, seen uh, this kind of uh, com uh, computer in uh, icu or no then this is the combination of both an analog and digital computer uh, this is known at, uh, as hybrid computer then uh, i will tell you this is hybrid computer have you got the point students it is known as hybrid computer and uh, let's uh, discuss about hybrid computer actually this is a combination of both analog and digital computer then let's describe about hybrid computers here you can see the hybrid computer the examples of hybrid, hybrid computer and uh, hybrid computers are those computers that has a combination of both analog and digital system and works on both continuous and discrete data so when we are talking with uh, about a hybrid computer here you can uh, see this is actually a uh, uh, combination of analog and digital it will give both output analog and as well as digital and it is actually we can use this as a discrete data or you can use as a continuous data also we can store the data with the help of this hybrid computer it is actually used in icu okay mostly used in the system of icu for hospital and jet planes and other data analysis terminals are also used hybrid computers then i think you are clear with this point yes then move on to the next passage students <coughs>
then move on to the next slide here is an activity for you what is the difference between uh, analog and digital computer so right now we have discussed it about the characteristics of uh, both analog and digital computer i think now you are clear with that point so from that point you have to tell me what are the difference between these two computers yes we can use type so uh, when we talk about analog data first we can talk about analog then we can uh, talk about analog a uh, sorry digital digital computer okay it is actually works on a works on the basis of continuous data okay it give a uh, continuous output so we can say it is uh, uh, actually using continuous data or continuous performance and uh, it only perform perform only what kind of uh, um, perform students particular task okay it will not give any kind of uh, multitask okay this is particular and what is next students it is works on real time real time and the ne next thing is uh, output are uh, in the form of signals output are in the form of signals so this is the main feature features we can say or we can say main characteristics of this particular uh analog analog computer then we can discuss about digital computer digital actually uh, gives us a discrete or discontinuous data okay we can say disc uh, discrete or discontinuous data and it is based on zeros and one and one which means it follows a binary code system okay which is following binary code system and it is faster and we can say it has high capacity storage so um one more point that we have to add in analog that is it is just lower okay so let's discuss about this point students actually analog computer as we have discussed it earlier also it is actually uh, worked on the basis of continuous data or we can say it uh, gives a uh, continuous performance uh, but uh, when we comparing uh, it with digital actually the digital is a form of that actually gives some kind of discrete or discontinuous data or we can say discontinuous performance and analog actually perform particular task only okay it will not give any kind of multi task no multi task is available in multi task is available in analog but here we can say that digital with the help of digital computer we can uh, like work on multi task okay and uh, it is actually work only real time but we can uh, in this digital uh, um, uh, computer we can say we can work on discontinuous basis also and uh, the output uh, system of uh, or uh, input system of bin uh, uh, digital computer is actually binary code system that is zeros and one um, and this is very faster when comparing to analog uh, computer we can say this is very faster and high capacity storage but um, what is the disadvantages of analog students it only 
gives a particular kind of uh, data that is signals and graphs and it is very slow for uh, than when comparing to digital computer students so i think uh, you are clear with this points am i right students these are the main difference of, of uh, um, analog and digital computer then let's discuss it about uh, discuss about the next question dash are those computer that has a combination of both analog and digital system so you have to tell me which computer is known as um, both the combination of analog and digital system that is hybrid okay i think now you are clear with this point students so let's move on to the next slide here you can see i have pasted multiple computer is there any difference between these computer yes uh, yes of course this uh, this computer are, are considered as digital computer and you have to tell me what are the main difference of these computer is there in uh, is there any variations uh, in their physical structures yes definitely we can say there is a variation in their physical structure which means uh, it uh, the uh, size is very smaller and we can say um, uh, when comparing um, this computer to this we can say this is uh, the, this computer this particular computer does not have keyboard but this laptop is having keyboard and desktop is having uh, cpu mouse also so there are some physical difference between these uh, four computers am i right students so these are considered as digital computer so uh, then the thing is students digital computer are also be classified according to their physical structure or we can say physical size and the purpose of uh, their use also uh, they are actually divided into different types of computer based on the capacity speed and reliability they are classified into three types three main category what are they students do you know the types of digital computer yes let's see what are the digital computers okay uh, i have marked here that is micro computer mini computer and main frame computer here you can see the difference between these uh, three computer uh, the physical difference uh, is actually um, uh, showing from uh, this picture only okay so these are the three categories of computer that is actually uh, categorized by considering the size and the function of this particular computer and here you can see the pictures also and first we can uh, discuss what is a micro computer and do you know what is micro computer yes the name itself saying something so let's discuss about micro computer the term micro computer was introduced with the advent of single chip large scale integrated circuit and computer processor okay these are the most frequently computer better known by the name personal computer and the thing is it is the smallest single user computer and its a, a cpu is a microprocessor it can perform the same operations and can use the same type of instructions as other computers so students uh, in uh, in this particular slide, slide you can see the description of micro computer and micro computer has a single chip large scale integrated circuit that is the main feature of this computer and here you can see the large scale integrate are you able to see this is known as large scale integrate circuit yeah actually this uh, micro computer using this particular processing system and um, do you know any examples of micro computer yes so uh, you have to tell me does your computer allows multiple users at a time yes let's see what is the other name for micro computer that is personal computer 
so now i think uh, you are able to get what is a micro computer so it is actually our computer it is uh, our desktop we can say uh, it is also known as personal computer so micro computer is also known as what students personal computer so you have to remember this point carefully okay then uh, the when we talk about the features of uh, micro computer it is smaller single user computer and its cpu is a microprocessor okay it is actually using microprocessor system so the cpp cpu is actually work under microprocessor system only and uh, then uh, it can perform the same operation and can use the same type of instructions as other computer it is very similar like uh, every computer that we can use it as for uh, uh, like uh, giving any input and we can also get a uh, output like video audio everything we will get okay mm. and the main um, <coughs> feature of this computer is it is very smaller and then tell me what is mini computer the next term is mini computer so you have to tell me what is mini here we can see what uh, what is the main uh, mm, uh, features of mini computer it is multi user computer capable of supporting up to hundreds of use multiple users okay so the main speciality of this computer uh, is we can um, or um, the multiple uh, user can use this computer at a time one time okay so it allows multi users and thousands of users can access the computer at a time then uh, when comparing it with micro computer micro computers actually uh, the, um, are more powerful okay they are usually more powerful when comparing to micro computer and mini computers are also known as mid range computer okay Wha uh, what is the name other name of mini computer that is mid range students and as their cost and computer powers lie in the middle range between micro and main frame computer that why it is known as mid range why it is known as mid mid range students because its cost is actually uh, in the middle of uh, middle between the micro and main frame computer so i think you are clear with this points so the main or important features of this computer is that it actually support the multi user facility okay at a time the thousand uh, users can um, use this computer simultaneously so that is the main uh, feature of mini computer and the next thing is main frame computer what is this students yes this is a powerful uh, multi user computer the main mainframe uh, computer is capable of supporting many hundreds of uh, or uh, thousands of users simultaneously and they are capable of faster and processing and greater storage area they are used in research organization large industries large business and government organizations banks and airlines uh, reservation were a large database is so the main feature of uh, this particular computer is uh, computer is multiple uh, user can uh, use this computer uh, at a, at a time so this is the main or important feature of this computer then when comparing uh, it with uh, the category of other computer um, it is very faster and uh, it has greater storage space also okay and these are in research organization banks and airline reservation so these are the important things of uh, things about mainframe computer so students are you clear with this point so let's move on to the next point which of the following are micro computer you have to tell me so which is known as micro computer yes yes 
here we can say this is micro computer and this is also known as micro computer and this is also known as micro computer and which of the following is a mid range computer right now we have discussed about mid range computer so tell me which is known as mid range computer that is mini computer have you got the point students yes so let's see uh, uh why uh, the um, uh, like mini computer is known as mid range computer students because it's uh, actually it's cost between the uh, like micro and mainframe computer and uh, here is a video for you students you have to watch this video carefully and uh, you have to tell me uh, these computer are under which category okay types of computers types of computers computers are of different shapes and sizes desktop computers computers are of different shapes and sizes desktop computer this is a desktop computer desktop computer are big in size so they are kept on the desk or table in olden days desktop computer looks like this laptop computer laptop computers are small in size so it can be kept on our lap a laptop computer can be carried around easily tablet computer a tablet computer is larger than a mobile phone it has a touch screen and we can write on it using a special pen smartphone a smartphone is a mobile phone that helps us to make calls send messages and store phone numbers it uses android operating system can be used to read emails, share images and videos and search information on the internet. Question time. Uh so from the video what did you ob observe it students? Uh these are uh, uh these are uh, some kind of computer uh which are considered in which category? Yes. Tell me this is micro or mini? yes this is a micro or personal computer um, um, we can uh, call the micro computer as personal computer also okay and personal computer actually classified mainly desktop computer laptop computer pam top computer personal and digital computer okay so let's see uh, something about micro computer that is also known as personal computer so uh, uh you have to tell me our desktop computer are portable or not no this is not a portable kind of computer uh, it need a uh, space to uh, sit that means it need uh, some desk to uh, place okay students then what are the other characteristics of uh, desktop computer from the picture also you can identify what are the characteristics of uh, this particular computer it has a cpu and we can see a um, display is there and uh, like a keyboard and mouse is also connected with this particular of computer then let's see some uh, something about desktop computer desktop computer are larger and not meant to be portable so it is not portable you have to mark this point it is not portable it is actually placed in a desk okay then they usually sit in one place only or desk or table and are plugged into a wall outlet of uh, for power okay so it need a continuous power facility okay that is the main uh, um, uh, characteristics of desktop computer and the case or uh, chassis here you can see the chassis of this particular computer hold the computer hold the entire computer in this particular photo you can see here is a cpu and the chase of the cpu is actually holding the computer okay the, uh, this is how it is placing students and the, uh, when this case lies flat on the desk then it is generally referred to as desktop model here you can see this is desktop model because it is 
uh, in flat okay it is lying on the uh, case so it is uh, actually this kind of computer we uh, actually known as this uh, desktop model and this particular model is known as tower model because it is vertical it is standing on the desk in a vertical ba sorry vertical basis that's why it is considered as tower model and then let's see tell me the difference between uh, this laptop and desktop computer yes we can say that this is small in size and this is portable also and uh, uh, and we can uh, like set it in our lab so that is the main difference of this particular computer students and let uh, let's see the computer is smaller than a laptop okay students and it is uh, smaller and that is uh, actually uh, we can say literally fit in palm so this particular computer is fit in our palm so we can easily use this particular computer and it is very portable okay and students please tell me the difference between the uh, two computers these two computers actually palm top that use a pen here you can see but <clears throat> this is actually using keyboard only okay so the uh, pd uh, pd is actually uh, mm, using uh, mm, keyboard only it has no pen okay then the next thing is word student what is this table tablet pc yet yeah. we can say it is a notebook uh, slate shaped mobile computer which is equipped with a touch screen the user can operate with a digital pen and we can also use our finger tips for operating this particular of uh, sorry this particular computer then the recapitulation part what are the different types of computer today we were discussed about different type of computer that is analog and digital and in that digital computer we have discussed about micro mini and uh, we hybrid computer also so students uh, uh, tell me digital computers are classified in three category what are they yes you have to tell me that is mini micro and hybrid computer and which is the most powerful uh, type of computer it is no uh, which is known as most powerful type of computer that is hybrid computer right now we have discussed about hybrid computer so here you can see uh hybrid computer <clears throat> okay then the next thing is uh what are the features of analog computer uh when we are discussing about the analog computer we have got to know that it is actually working in a continuous based uh processing and we can also that it is only uh, work Uh, or uh, we can say it we only give uh, a particular task we cannot go with multiple task okay then it will uh, give informations uh, through the signals only and the main uh, disadvantages of this computer is it is very slower when comparing to digital computer so these are the main uh, mm, uh, advantages of analog computer students then let's see homework part take a tour to the computer library of your school gather information about devices that look different from each other and explain the functions of listed devices so you have to come up with your homework students so uh, you have to observe your computer laboratory where we, where you can see different computers such as desktop computer laptop computer uh, uh, or we can say uh, palm computer will be there so you have to identify the difference between those computer and uh, you have to list the function of this particular computer so come up with, uh, come up with your homework students thank you so much for joining the class